Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Wall Street Bull. Anthony here. I hope you're all doing well and staying safe out there. I have my morning espresso. Why? Because the crypto market is absolutely going parabolic, uh, which is really nice. I'm going to cheers to that. Uh, awesome celebrations all around. I think it's about time we're all well and truly due for this market going upwards. Really nice. Thank you very much to every single one of you who have subscribed to the channel. I really appreciate it. If you're new, smash the subscribe button down there. Turn on that little bell notification as well, because as you can see right here, I love documenting my journey with investing with cryptos, dividend stocks, growth stocks, talking about passive income, building financial freedom. And yes, my goal at the end of the day is to build generational wealth. So come along this incredible journey where things are just getting heated up right now. It's really awesome. Also, if you can give this video a thumbs up, watch it straight through. It would really help me push this channel out to a lot more people. Also, little disclaimer, I am not a financial advisor please do not take what i say in these videos as financial advice you need to do your own research and due diligence it's very very important and me my number one golden rule is i only invest what i can afford to lose yes we don't like to lose we can lose money like that especially in cryptos all right so please be careful out there do your own research all right now the formalities are out of the way i'm just going to have a quick look at my community tab i have been dabbling my feet into forex trading and i can honestly say it is one crazy volatile space the most volatile and crazy price fluctuations I've ever <laughs> ever witnessed, sorry, uh, in trading. So I'm losing my voice. Um, that's pretty much it. So again, I'm still working out my strategy. And once I've, I've worked that out, I will let you all know. All right, let's go straight into the market today because there is a lot happening in the crypto space. I'm going to go to CoinSpot. This is where I buy my cryptos in Australia. Please feel free to use the referral link below, but please do your own research. Going to quickly scroll through these. I'm not going to go into all of them. Bitcoin sitting at 63,000 Australian dollars today. Now, this is all in Australian dollars. Everything else is set to USD. I'm catering for everybody around the world. Ethereum is at $4,500. XRP is up to $1.19. Um, I think we're going to be seeing some pretty crazy stuff happening with XRP. There is a lot happening in this lawsuit. So keep an eye on that. Cardano is down 0.7% today to $1.61. I've seen some price predictions for Cardano in the three digits. It's going to be a major competitor to Ethereum. Just putting it out there. So keep scrolling down here. Maddox, another one. I'm bullish on it, $2.28. Uh, Stella XLM is at 31 cents again. Algorand a dollar 25. Hedera 32 cents. V Chain at nine cents. It was pumping last night, um, up to 10 cents. So it's down slightly today. Waves is up 34 percent to 59 dollars. I did get out of Waves, so I'm no longer holding that. Um, I did put my money into Axie Infinity, which is at $92 right now. I am staking that, earning 78 percent APY. I'm getting paid every single day a ridiculous amount of money to stake it on coin spot you can choose to compound that money or that that those rewards uh reinvesting those uh you know payments or you can withdraw it whatever you wish it's incredible um I mean, I worked this out. Had you put like ten to twenty thousand, we'll say ten thousand, you'll earn seven thousand eight hundred dollars a year, which is absolutely awesome. Helps pay the bills, especially for fuel right now. Can you think about that? Imagine. Anyway, keep scrolling down here, guys. You've got um, uh, ApeCoin is up to nineteen dollars. Uh, let's keep scrolling down here. IOTA's at dollar seventeen right now. Harmony one at twenty one cents, guys. Gale is up to thirty six. Quant is at $196. The market's all up, guys. Let's keep scrolling down here. Oasis Rose, $0.37. Cents. And of course, my favorite is XDC at $0.08. Cents. Now, I predict that once this market keeps going above the 3 to $4 trillion mark, which I think is coming very soon, we will not see these prices again and people will struggle. Come, the new people coming into this space will struggle getting those multiples straight up. That's why I like XDC because it has the ability to get people those multiples that they need, the 10 times, the 20 times, 50, 100 times your money. That's what I like to see and that's what I love about XDC, especially that and also Reef as well, which is another sleeping gem right now, which is at one cent. So you will be able to see those multiples. Obviously, me, my golden rule, I only invest so I can afford to lose, but that's obviously what I'm investing in right now is getting those multiples. Anyway, let's go to the news today because there's a lot happening and we'll get into all my apps. Day on the uh, crypto bubbles right now, Waves up 35%, GNO, EOS, Phil, LRC, Secret, and Hex as well, Shiba Inu. Um, I'm still holding my Shiba Inu as well. I'm, I haven't sold it and I bought it way before the last major pump with uh, Shiba Inu as well. So I've seen some nice returns. I'm not selling it. I'm just going to hold it because I threw in hardly anything. So 
It's awesome. Um, Luna Theta as well as another sleeper that I'm holding long term. They've got some big, big patents and partnerships as well. Now, if we go to the news right here, Ripple identified as an opportunity in payments alongside Circle by Goldman Sachs. So report highlights RippleNet, a network for institutional payment providers. A recent report by Goldman Sachs, everyone knows who Goldman Sachs are. Investment banking division overview of digital assets and blockchain identifies Ripple as an opportunity in payments alongside Circle, a peer-to-peer -peer payment technology and Coinbase. The report highlights RippleNet, a network for institutional payment providers like banks and money remittance services that use solutions built by Ripple. That is bullish right there. Ladies and gentlemen, you've got Circle. Ripple, banks join RippleNet, process cross-border payments. We all know this. New Revel, consistent experience, one integration point, lower costs, and obviously Coinbase here. Um, obviously, their fees are you know a little bit less than CoinSpot, so uh, Coinbase is pretty self-explanatory there. But again, I think we're going to see some pretty crazy stuff happening in the whole SEC vs. Ripple case. There has been some new rulings today from James K. Filan. He's put that up, so we'll have a look at that in a moment. What is the next cryptocurrency to explode in 2022? I had a read of this on The Motley Fool. Obviously, they've got One Inch, you've got Render, uh, R Wave, Sushi Swap. I'm not invested in Sushi Swap. Fetch.ai, you've got Illuvium, which has pumped. Had you gotten into this before the major pump, it's like, you know, I think it was peaking around a thousand US dollars right now. So that's incredible as well. Awesome gaming token. Uh, keep scrolling down here. Basic attention token. Uh, you've got XRP straightforward. I mean, look, guys, this is going to be a multiple coin right now. I've seen some crazy price predictions from my last video. Anything is possible. I'm just holding like diamond hands right now because once we get a positive ruling in this case, the price will just go straight to the moon. So again, XRP very bullish. Let's have a look at some other news here. Why XRP, Cardano, and Polkadot are surging higher today. Today's surge in valuations across the top cryptocurrency signals a strong interest in continuing to build with these risk assets. Without risk, there's no reward. So keep going here. XRP up 0.7%. Cardano and Polkadot. I love Polkadot as well. And you can stake that on CoinSpot and earn around 19% APY. These moves have transpired despite rather weak price action in the equity markets today. Whether this means that the crypto sector is de um, decoupling from the rather strong correlation with other risk assets remains to be seen. However, this is something I intend to keep an eye on. For XRP, more news around the ongoing lawsuit in the Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, and Ripple XRP's parent company continues to drive positive reactions. Um, among crypto investors, specifically some evidence allegedly showing that the SEC did not view XRP as a security prior to the lawsuit, has some investors bullish on the idea that the case could get thrown out. I hope that happens, honestly. And you've got some other news about Ripple, one of my favorite projects. Ripple gets serious demands SEC be sanctioned. So the SEC recently got a witness, Dr. Albert Metz, the Metz report, uh, to write an opinion on whether Ripple Labs had been manipulating XRP's price. Dr. Metz, a former U.S. Department Justice official, concluded that Ripple's public statements had influenced XRP's price. I don't think so. While Metz's conclusion would not be a smoking gun proving that XRP's is security, it would perhaps lend some... Um, corroborating evidence to the SEC's case if committed in court. Ripple is having none of that. It is sharply worded letter. It filed uh, to have the Mets report excluded from the trial. The letter argues the SEC failed to make necessary disclosure under the Federal Rule of Civil Procedure. Therefore, Ripple argues that the evidence within uh, it is not admissible. If Ripple wins this motion, then it will have racked up yet another pre um, procedural win that could give leverage to settle with favorable terms. And I don't even want to think what kind of a settlement it would be. It would be like millions, hundreds of millions of dollars or something around those lines. It'd be ridiculous. So Ripple accuses the SC of gamemanship, gamemanship, gamesmanship here. Ripple is long taken a hostile stance towards the plaintiffs in the SEC lawsuit, accusing them of being biased. It has argued that the entire case is on false premises. Ripple continued its harsh words within the latest motion in, in, a, in its letter, said a continuance would reward the SEC for its game and gamesmanship. That's a tongue twister, that one. A further prejudice defendants. Tough words that Ripple plans to fight all the way to the end. So again, very bullish news here. And again, you need to be paying attention to this because again, I'll read right here. So the SEC, it's the same. So a loss in the SEC lawsuit would put all of its uh, all of this in jeopardy. The plaintiffs want Ripple Labs to pay out $1.3 billion because they just want money. 
Um, such a massive financial liability could create a drain on the organization, impending its ability to focus on tasks that support XRP. If Ripple wins, it won't have to worry about the liability. Sorry, my trading view indicator is going here. Okay, there you go. So go back here. My trading view thing for my Forex is crazy. Um, if Ripple wins, it won't have to worry about the liability nor complying with securities regulations, so it would be more free to make XRP the best token it can be. I agree. The same goes for the entire crypto market. If this SEC wins, it will establish case law. Very, very important. You need to be paying attention to this case law, which will force the Ethereum Foundation and others to register their tokens as securities. That would impose severe, severe financial and administrative burdens on them. So if Ripple wins, Ether investors and others would likely uh, indirectly benefit. Again, bullish. Obviously, the graph is another project that I'm looking at right now. I am invested in this. This is going to be a very big project. And again, it's really, really cheap right now from my understanding anyway. So I have dollar cost average into it. I've got a decent little bag. I am holding this right now. So what's noteworthy about GRT's recent 12% climb is that the rest of the cryptocurrency market has been primarily moving sideways. What are they, what's, uh, they doing that's different? So the graph is a decentralized protocol for in indexing and querying data from blockchain, starting with Ethereum. It makes it possible to query data that is difficult to query directly, the graph website. So we've got here, subgraphs can be composed into global graph of the world's public information. This data can be transformed, organized, and shared across applications from anyone to query with just a few keystrokes, the graph website. So again, this is going to be a big project in Web3 as well. Just putting it out there. The graph is a sleeper for me. And obviously, you've got some bullish news here. It's probably the reason why you know Bitcoin is pumping. Russia tries to get around severe sanctions by trading in Bitcoin. So again... They are wanting to like buy and sell oil with Bitcoin. So Russia may be open to accepting Bitcoin as payment for oil and gas friendly nations as it scrambles to bolster free falling ruble. So again, a top Russian government executive has said the nation may consider accepting Bitcoin as payment for its oil and gas from friendly countries in a bid to circumvent severe sanctions uh, which have seen the value of the ruble um, decimated right now. So as Western powers keep Russia in sanctioned stronghold over President Vladimir Putin's invasion of Ukraine, the Kremlin seeks in other ways to get around economic disaster of its free-falling currency. So could you imagine the amount of volume of Bitcoin that's required to you know, pay and sell for oil? I mean, oil is Billions and billions of dollars, guys. I mean, come on, it's ridiculous what's going. You know what they're trying to do here. But anyway, it's good for us crypto holders, I guess. So let's keep scrolling down here. Going to refresh CryptoMeter.io. GMT Solana is where the money's been flowing. Obviously, in the last hour, let's have a look at this right now. You've got GMT Waves and Uni. Obviously, if you've got BUSD, USDC, Luna, UST, and VR as well, they're the coins in the last hour where the money has been flowing. So CryptoMeter.io is really good. If I go into Twitter today, let's just have a quick look. Now, this is bullish as well. This is from Forbes. So following the run of Bitcoin and select altcoins such as Ethereum, Cardano, and Solana, some forecast the crypto market to pump past a $10 trillion market cap. $10 trillion. Right now, it's just above $2 trillion. So again, $10 trillion. So people, if you are wanting to get into crypto, do your own research though. But guys, now is the time to start getting into crypto for sure. Thanks to a massive TVL, the price and growth of ADA. This is on you today. Market capitalization exceeds 40 billion, leaving Solana and Luna behind. I'm telling you, I think Cardano is going to be a major Ethereum competitor, straight up. Grayscale, CEO, there is over 800,000 US accounts waiting for GBTC to be converted into a spot ETF. If once that happens, guys, institutional money is going to start flying into cryptos. The crypto landscape is consistently evolving and the next evolution of crypto for business is upon us. Learn why Ripple, with our, our experience, industry savvy and technical resources will deliver the most trusted solutions. Ripple's just a no-brainer for me, man, honestly. So this is from Johnny Deaton. Have a look at this, guys. So who knew that you could pay rent with a security? Below is another use case for XRP being utilized as a substitute for fiat currency. Pursuant to paragraph 26 of the lease, the landlord is to be paid in XRP. Let's have a look here. Special provisions. There is a blacked out security deposit assigned to the lease of the term provisions uh, previous landlord. 5D monthly rent will be paid in the cryptocurrency XRP. Here's the wallet address and destination tag for the Val Hill Capital. 
How good is that? They want to be paid rent in XRP. That's bullish. Terra buys more than 2,830 Bitcoin with a value of $133 million. Again, try to transact that money with normal banks. Imagine how many you know, you know, regulations would stop that money from going place to place to place. It just would be impossible. You could not do it. Impossible to send $133 million just around the world like that. Just not possible. Unbelievable. Goldman Sachs survey. 60% of clients, clients intend to increase their crypto investments. I agree. Beer, uh, Fear and Greed Index is sitting at 60 now. We're in the greed section. Bullish. This is um, obviously Will Smith and Chris Rock. And that was pretty full on watching that. A ripple in the SEC straight up. That's hilarious. Uh, what else we got here? That's just Elon Musk, non-crypto related. Now, this is in relation to the case again with Ripple versus SEC. Ripple's request for extension of time regarding the redacted documents was granted in a text only order. The SEC is directed to produce the redacted documents for the defendants. Assessment by March 30, which is tomorrow in Australia. So again, 2022, defendant's response is due on April 4th, 2022, guys. Again, keep an eye on James K. Filano because he provides incredible updates in relation to the case. Again, the SEC has got to produce all these documents now, and it's just the beginning. So again, they're going to fight this till the end, seriously, because they don't want this stuff coming out because XRP was already you know, concluded that it was not a security in their own reports. They don't want that coming out, straight up. Ah, now what else we got here, guys? You've got Johnny Deaton here, also specifically named again. This was from yesterday, and Justin forty six thousand five hundred Bitcoin. That was from yesterday as well. So we'll keep moving on. Three commas trading bot has been making me some nice profits right now. Again, link below for three commas. It is fairly straightforward to set up. Again, you will need an account on Binance, uh, and obviously a three commas account. I believe you get a trial when you sign up for two weeks. So have a look at it. Do your own research. Again, this has been making me profits all night because the crypto market's been going crazy. Thirty one cents so far but again this was at 15 us dollars like uh, about 25 minutes ago which is really nice here are all my bots set up i'm only trading like xrp waves matic link axe infinity sandbox gala near protocol ada bitcoin dot avax solana and luna only nice big cat you know market coins right here guys sorry big alt coins i'm not trading any volatile lower market cap coins because it becomes really risky here are all my deals right now only down slightly because obviously it's you know the, the rest of the world's sleeping right now so the market's down but again it's been making me nice profits so i really like three commas check it out my video uh on the weekend as well a couple of days ago goes through everything on how to set up exactly how i'm trading right now please do your own research so let's go to um coin market cap 2.1 trillion dollars right now 121 billion dollars in volume 42 percent btc 18 percent ethereum you know greens right now in the last 24 hours really bullish waves filecoin gnosis i have no idea what this one is guys 457 dollars usd eos shiba inu holo chain as well has been pumping the last couple of days if i go to my portfolio let's just open this up Bitcoin sitting at $47,000 right now. We are nicely stable around that above the 40K mark, which is really good, guys. 0.88%. XRP is at 86 cents right now. Bullish Cardano is $1.17 USD. Keeps going down here. Dogecoin is at 14 cents. I've seen a price prediction of this about $1.50 a coin again. If that happens, I might take some more, more profits and put it into some staking coins. So I'll just put you know put it out there. Shiba Inu, Matic, Near Protocol, Tron, Stellar, XLM is at 23 cents. Decentraland, $2.69. Hedera is at 23 cents. VeChain, 7 cents. Very bullish on that. Axe Infinity is at $66. Sandbox, Theta, Phantom, The Graph. BTT, Harmony One, Gala, Neo, Amp, Holochain, Theta Fuel, Oasis Rose, XDC, Anchor, Seer Coin, Telcoin, Digibyte, Ravane, Nervous Network, Winlink, Superfarm, UFO Gaming. Uh, obviously, I had some of that stolen from my MetaMask wallet when the hack took place. So please log out of your MetaMask wallet on, on your uh, Google Chrome or whatever browser you're using. Put your uh, security passwords and seed phrases off. Store them away make sure you do a malware scan on your computer on a weekly basis if you can if not daily if you can and obviously all your spyware clean your computer ladies and gentlemen very important because the stuff sticks in there xyo meta hero reserve rights constellation dag reef is at one cent vthor proton xpr veracity is another one alien worlds electronium star atlas 
Kin, gas, I get paid from holding NEO. That's just passive income. Acropolis, Ubix Network, Olympus Dow is a rug pull, and I'm not holding that anymore. So I'm just going to actually get rid of that. Boom. There you go. And obviously, Pitbull, I'm holding that. And Ecomi, bullish on Ecomi as well. So that's my entire portfolio and market update for today. Let me know in the comments below. Are you excited? Is there anything that's interesting right there now that you're looking at purchasing? We'll talk about it in the comments and I will do some more research on some other gems as well. All right, stay safe, everyone. Peace, bye.